Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Daniela. First and foremost, I just want to say Happy New Year. We are now in 2021. I cannot believe that in just a couple of months, it's going to be a year that I started this channel. And I just want to say thank you all so much for the people that watch me and like my videos. So I hope you guys just continue watching me and continue enjoying the videos that I put out because I put a lot of effort in them and I enjoy doing it a lot. So as you guys can tell by the title, I am going to be doing a full face of makeup using only e.l.f products. If you've never heard of e.l.f Cosmetics, they are a super affordable brand. You can find them at Target, Walmart, basically all drugstores and obviously online as well. Back around like right before the holiday season they were running a 40 percent off sale so i went ahead and purchased all these products and i wanted to do a makeup look for you guys that's affordable with good products as well some of these i have not tried and so it'll be like a little you know first impressions as well if you guys want to see the makeup look that i create using elf products then just keep on watching all right guys so let's get started i'm going to moisturize my face with this holy hydration face cream i've heard really good things about this and let's see how much it hydrates my face i have uh, oily skin so i stick to the moisturizers that i know won't leave my skin greasy or anything like that but of course let's try this one feels really good on the skin For eyebrows, I'm going to be using a holy grail product for me. I fell in love with this and I have not put it down ever since. This is the brow pomade in the color medium brown. You guys, if you've never tried a pomade for your eyebrows, you need to try them. I used to be obsessed with these like little powder, eyebrow powder uh, duos, but I don't know, something about like just using a pomade makes your eyebrows last a lot longer and they just look a lot neater in my opinion of course don't overdo it but i'll show you guys how exactly i do mine um as you guys can see i love this stuff this one specifically is in the color dark but ever since like i said i started using the pomade life changer then i'm just going to be using that pomade with one of these this is a brow duo pencil it's super convenient because it has you know the side where you can just carve out your brows and then on the other end you get a spoolie as well so let's go ahead and do our eyebrows first things first i like to kind of outline them um, now with a pomade you can definitely be really heavy-handed so try to not pick up as, as much product because a little bit does go a long way so I carve out or just like outline my eyebrows first and then I go ahead and very slightly fill it in almost like making um, like hair strokes motion just so that it doesn't look like it's like painted on you know so after i'm done with the eyebrows i usually move on to the eyes i went ahead and primed my eyelids just using their hydrating camo concealer i love this stuff we're going to use it a little bit later but let's move on to the eyes for eyeshadow i'm going to be using this opposites attract eyeshadow palette this is so cool in the back i just noticed and it gives you like looks to try and it basically tells you where to place each of these like different colors on your eyelid that's super convenient for somebody that's starting with makeup so let's go ahead and play with some eyeshadow i am going to try um this fresh color up here it looks very neutral so let me apply that all over the eyelids next i'm going to pick up this color saucy same brush and i'm going to apply that in my crease well that's pigmented and super easy to blend All 
All right, so next I'm going to pick up the color warm right here just to put it in my outer V and start deepening up the crease. I'm just using a blending brush that came with that candy cane collection. That color is super pigmented, as you guys can see. Just like that. And now let's place with some of these glittery eyeshadows. So I'm going to pick up Daring down here with an eyeshadow brush. And let's put this on the lid. I really like this eyeshadow palette. You know, for the price, the colors are really pigmented and there's basically no fallout on my face. Like I mentioned, there's a little bit of kickback on the palette itself with the matte eyeshadows, but there is no fallout on my face. So I wanna spray my brush and see how that eyeshadow intensifies. If it does, if it doesn't, I'm just gonna be using this matte blotting mist. Of course, I was gonna use this at the end, but I'm also gonna use it to wet my brush and see how the eyeshadow works. Sometimes glittery eyeshadows work better on a wet brush. So let's try that. Mm, I don't think it really intensifies it much. So this is one of those eyeshadows that you can use dry, wet, it doesn't have any difference which is not a bad thing, it's all preference. All right, so I am going to apply some liner. You guys know my look is never complete unless I have eyeliner on. I'm gonna be using this Intense Ink Eyeliner in Black is Black. It's one of these like super fat eyeliners that are super easy to use. If you're new to eyeliners, like doing cat eyes, definitely use something like this um, because you have a little bit more precision. So I've never tried this one specifically before, but let's see how it works. This eyeliner is really easy to use. I am very, very impressed, Elf. So once I'm done with the eyeliner, I go ahead with mascara. I'm going to be using the Waterproof Length and Volume Mascara. It looks like this. I think this was like $3, which is a super good deal. So let's get the lashes ready for falsies. And don't mind my eyeliner if it's all over the place in terms of not being even, you know, sometimes they're twin sisters and most days it's like they're not even related. <laughs> To be honest with you guys, I don't think I like this mascara at all. I feel like it's not really doing anything for my lashes, at least for my top lashes. Maybe it'll do a little bit more for my bottom lashes. It is waterproof, so maybe for the bottom lashes it'll be better. But I completely forgot that I had gotten these little like liquid eyeshadows um, back in the holidays when I did my holiday look. You guys know that I love this stuff. So let's try adding a little bit of this to the center of the eyelids just to take it up a notch. I didn't even tell you guys which shadow I am using. This one is in Flirty Birdie. And then I'm just tapping it away with my finger just to give this look a little bit more glitter. The lashes that I'm going to be using today are the Foam Ink Lashes in Style Drama Queen. These look so fluffy. Let's put them on. Oh, this is so cute. They come with a little applicator. <laughs> it's tiny, but if you guys don't have one, definitely use it. They come in so handy when applying your lashes. As we wait for the lash glue to get tacky on the lashes, let's move on to the face. I'm going to be using the Poreless Putty Primer. If you guys have not tried this, you need to go get it right now. 
like stop the video go get it and come back <laughs> this product is so good it's such a dupe for a much much more expensive uh, primer and it works just the same okay so the lashes are on they look really nice but they were so hard to put on i don't know why i kept having to take them off put them on take them off put them on at least they didn't fall apart right <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on to the start of the show which is this camo C cream i have heard nothing but good things about this product and it just came out a few weeks ago so let's try it and see how i like it it's supposed to be a dupe for a high-end product i got it in the color medium 375 i also got the complexion dual brush i don't know why because i have tons of makeup brushes and i usually use a sponge but i wanted to give it a try my favorite favorite makeup brushes to apply the foundation with is this uh, buffing foundation brush so you guys see one is dirty the other one is clean because i use these a lot but what i'm gonna do is apply half of the face with the brush and the other half with the elf um, sponge i have already wet this so let's try on the left side with the sponge first and let's see how the product applies we'll see if this is a good match in color too all right let's start with that I feel like it doesn't smell like anything which is good because there's nothing worse than having foundation that like smells like paint oh my god I can't so it covered some of that redness that I had on this blemish here the true test is always my freckles <laughs> So, so far with the sponge, I'm getting coverage. I'm getting good coverage. And I really like the CC cream so far. I mean, it's supposed to be a CC cream, but I feel like the coverage is so good. This is definitely a foundation. But let's apply the other side with the brush and see which one I like better. Oh yeah, I can tell you right away that I'm gonna like the brush better because it has a lot more coverage as I expected depending on the foundation I use either a sponge or a um, brush like this like the ones I showed you from elf yeah you guys this is definitely a foundation it is not a CC cream in terms of coverage but it feels so lightweight on the skin I can see why they are advertising it as a CC cream it like doesn't even feel like I have anything on. All right guys, so that's what the foundation looks like. I really like it. And let's go ahead with concealer. I'm going to be using two shades. You guys know I'm extra. You don't need to use two shades, but I'm going to be using the Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Beige and Medium Peach. I'm gonna let that sit for a second as I get my baking powder ready. This is the matte setting powder and I got it in medium. It's just a loose setting powder. I'm going to put some on the cap. Oh, this is so cute. It says pour powder here, like on the inside of the lid. Just like that. Now let's get our powder brush. This is just a big, fluffy like powder brush this is supposed to be the complexion brush from the candy cane line and let's use this powder I've never used it so let's see how it works kind of do a pseudo bake oh my god this just got everywhere <laughs> if you see powder on my hair just mind your business <laughs> all right let's move on to the bottom lash line let's finish off the eyes and then we can go ahead and finish the face i'm gonna be using that same liner on my bottom waterline here all right let's do some eyeshadow underneath the lash line 
this little brush what is this a defining brush came with that candy cane collection so let's use it for the bottom lash line oh my god you guys that powder got everywhere <laughs> i'm pretty sure i still have some on my hair but we're just going to keep going and pretend it's not there so <laughs> my god i even have like foundation on my hair here what is happening somebody get me help <laughs> help i hate it here just kidding <laughs> and use the warm color here underneath our lash line okay guys so i applied some of that mascara on my lower lashes and i actually really like it for lower lashes maybe it's because the brush is a lot smaller than what i'm used to for like my top lashes i'll give you guys a close-up so it's definitely better for lower lashes now let's remove this powder because you guys know i went a little overboard let's move on to contouring i have this contouring palette this little quad and dark deep just to bring some life back to my face after all that powder <laughs> i'm going to be using this uh it's supposed to be a blush brush but i use it for contouring so let's pick up the darkest shade here and mix it with the one right next to it Just like that I don't usually do highlighter but if you wanted to you can definitely use this top shade right here it has a little bit of shimmer the other three are matte okay so for blush I'm going to show you guys what I have and then I'll decide what I want to use I got these primer infused blushes this one is an always punchy and this one is an always fiery and then I also got this quad um, and this one is in dark just because I love blush and I like to have options I kind of want to use one of the prime infused ones just because they look so good so why don't we use one of those and then if it doesn't work I can always switch it to another one what do we think fiery should we use fiery I think we should all right I'm kind of scared though oh this is so pigmented you guys <laughs> I'm gonna use it with the same powder brush that's super pretty but it's definitely like so pigmented so i'm barely like dipping my blood my brush in here as always blush is the first thing to go so apply a little bit more in the beginning and then you know it kind of just fades away through the day but let's go ahead and finish off with the lips you guys i got this matte lip color in cranberry I love lippy sticks like this because they're so easy to use this is what it looks like let's line the lips first and then we'll go ahead and fill it in it's super creamy and the color is so pretty I wish it was a little bit more opaque but you can definitely build it up this is really really good it feels really good on the lips as well um if we can leave it like this but i have this like radiant gel lip tint that i got in dewy berry so why don't we just add some of this and let's see what happens okay so that has a really weird taste it's really bitter i don't know how i feel about that the color i mean it's not really doing much because i have something underneath it but yeah i mean i i think it like intensified the color a little bit more but let's finish the look with some of this uh matte blotting spray let me get the hair out of the way Ooh, that smells like eucalyptus You guys, what just happened? Oh my God. Can you guys see that? <laughs> I didn't even realize it because my eyes were closed. What just happened? Oh my God, you guys. 
I'm just taking a beauty sponge and kind of like dabbing this in. I don't know what just happened. Oh my goodness. And it's all over my shirt too. Oh my God, you guys. I did not expect that to happen right now. <laughs> I need to just laugh it off because I was so pissed for a second after I sprayed this matte like blotting mist and I opened my eyes and I saw what it did to my face. I literally was like, oh my God, this just ruined my makeup. But thankfully, crisis averted. I just used a um, the sponge that I was using earlier to kind of just blot it all in. I mean, it made me matte. But I am never using this again because of what it just did. Should we replay what just happened so we can all take a mental note to not buy this? Thank God it was like super cheap. Otherwise, I would be so pissed right now. <laughs> All right, you guys, and that concludes this full face of e.l.f. products. I feel like the makeup turned out really good and I really liked, you know, most of the products except for this. But let's start from the top. I love the brow pomade that I use. I use it all the time, so I knew I was going to like it. Um, this foundation is really, really good. I feel like it looks even better in person than it does on camera. Um, it's just super flawless. I am pretty sure it's not because of this though. <laughs> Let's not get it twisted. Um, I also really liked this eyeshadow palette. Um, I feel like the colors blended really nicely and they went really well together. The lashes are nice, but they were really hard to put on. Just throwing it out there. If you are a beginner with lashes, definitely don't recommend these because you may have a really hard time putting them on and then give up on false lashes forever. And we don't want to do that. <laughs> I really enjoyed the blushes. I used this one mainly and like I showed you guys, I mixed it with the top one in the quad here. I feel like it made a really good mix. It almost looks like the blush that I wear and love um, every day. So really, really enjoyed that. This lip tint that I added at the end, it didn't do anything, so I don't really care for it. The mascara only really worked on my bottom lashes, not my top lashes. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a little overview of the products that I used. I mean, throughout the video, I'm telling you whether or not I like them, but as just a summary, I feel like I really, really enjoyed using most of the products that I used, except for this that almost ruined all of my hard work with the makeup. So yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.